And, 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 and then I want to go one step further. When it gets to the point that all of them gone and I'm the only one here, there's still somebody who's going to come see about me. When all my friends are gone, when mom and them are gone, when my family are gone, there's somebody who's going to come see about me. See, 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 we, 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 we have to understand that the peace that Jesus brings doesn't come with a sword. It doesn't come with a superior weapons. But it comes uh, 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 with a prevailing spirit. See, his, his peace is not the peace of stagnation or inactivity. Some folks think if ain't nothing going on, then that's peace. A lot of churches get lulled into that false sense of security. Ain't nobody fussing or fighting. Oh, you must be doing well over there. Ain't nobody fussing and fighting. That ain't peace. That's just a, a, a lack of activity right now. And that can change. Somebody say amen. Amen. You see, you see, we 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 have to understand is 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 the peace that 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 Jesus gives us is is not some spiritual narcotic that keeps us from feeling or or seeing what's going on around us or or to stop us from facing reality. Yeah, we go through stuff too. Yeah, we got problems too. Yeah, we got to go deal with bad doctor's reports. Yes, we got to deal with children that act up sometime. Yeah, we got to deal with with uncertain jobs. Yeah, we got to deal with, with cars that break down and roofs that leak and all kinds of stuff just like everybody else. Well, what's different about us? Because we know that all this stuff down here is temporary. And we know something else that the world don't know. Did nothing come to stay. The Bible said it came to pass. Don't nothing stay. Good times, oh hallelujah. Enjoy them, they ain't staying. Hard times, hallelujah. Just endure it, they ain't staying. All things gonna change. You see, we, we, we have to understand that, that, that this peace that, that, that we enjoy isn't uh, to be immune from suffering or temptation. But what is it? But the Prince of Peace brings us peace from God and gives us peace with God. His peace is the peace of surrender to the rule of love. You can't make nobody do nothing. But no matter what you do, I love you anyhow. And ain't nothing you can do about that. And I'm at peace with that. I may not be crazy about your ways, but I love you. Well, how can you love me? Well, I may not like what you do, but I love you. How can you do that? Because the Lord told me to. Love ain't, ain't got nothing to do with feeling. Love is what you do. Amen, lights. His peace is the peace of fellowship with God the Father. Oh, to be cut off from the Father. Oh, to, to, to face the, 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 the challenges of life and not have a Father that you can go to and say, Lord, I need a little help. His peace is the peace of self-control through spiritual power and divine energy. What are you talking about, preacher? That person that made you mad that you didn't slap down. Come on now. You know if the Lord hadn't put his hand on you, you'd have laid hands on folks and it wouldn't have been with no oil. You know if the Lord hadn't changed you that there's a whole bunch of stuff you would have done that you used to do that you don't do no more. You can look at a fool now and just walk away. 
But there was a time in our lives we felt obligated to educate that fool. Oh, if it hadn't been for the Lord. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. His, his peace is the peace of assurance that our sins have been forgiven. All of us have messed up. All of us have said some stuff and done some stuff. Oh, some of us didn't get caught. But yeah, we did some stuff that, 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 that wrote our name on the list going straight to hell. Some of us would go in the VIP lane. You, you know, you know, you know, see back, back in the day, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell my age now, I don't know if they do it like this now. Back in the day, if you were frequent at a club, all you had to do is just come in and go. You just walk right in. Who's that? Oh, that's Jones. <laughs> he a regular here. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And some of us would have been going to hell just like that. Say, oh, we knew you were coming. We prepared a place for you. Oh, but praise be to God that Jesus stepped in and shut that door to us. Praise be to God that even though we might have been stepping that way, his Holy Spirit moved us in another direction. Praise be to God that though I deserve to go to hell, I won't go to hell because Jesus paid it all and all to him I owe. You, 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 you ought to be peaceful about that. Yeah, you may have done some stuff over. I had it to do over again. I wouldn't have done it like that. But praise be to God. He looked down in tender mercy, watched over my wicked soul, pulled me up out of the muck and the mire, and placed me on a solid rock. 